Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am Leo and today I'm going to just kind of talk you through a little bit about the PlayStation 5 HD camera thing. So I got it today and I was hoping that it would... So I got it today and I was hoping that it would do a lot more than it currently does. Right now, if you have or get the PlayStation 5 HD camera thing, it's not going to do much. It doesn't work on PS4, and it doesn't work on PC, at least right now. It looks like there is the potential for it to work on PC if Sony releases some drivers for it to work on PC. When you plug it into your computer, it recognizes it, at least mine recognizes it, as USB boot. Uh, and when I go into the settings to look at it, it says that there are no drivers available for it. So, it's recognizing that there is a USB device, but it doesn't know what to do with the USB device. So, sadly, as of right now, the HD camera doesn't work on PC. As for PS4, it's not going to work on PS4 either because... Uh, the the uh, little USB tag thing has a thing saying that it specifically needs to go to a USB 3. Uh, preferably, I'm guessing, with the one with the little blue tag. And I, I did try on PC, because my PC does have a, f a couple of those. And yeah, that didn't make any difference. Um, but on PlayStation, it will obviously make quite a bit of a difference, seeing as the PlayStation does not recognize it. I went into the settings to see if it worked there. I tried Share Factory, but couldn't find anything. I, I, I've never used Share Factory, so I don't know what it's about. Um, but yeah, so sadly, I can't talk about the quality of it, or whether or not it's 60 frames, or anything like that. All I got was... Well, well, the box. The box and the packaging. And sadly, all, all that came in it is this and then um, the little like, manuals, which I believe just say plug it in. <laughs> um, so I can talk about like how it mounts. It, it mounts pretty simply. Uh, I, when I hang it up there, I do worry about its stability. I do kind of worry that maybe if you accidentally bump your TV you might end up knocking it off. But other than that, it's a decent... It hangs up there okay once you kind of get it situated. And it looks alright. It's fairly uh, minimalist uh, in design there. I do like how you, when you open it, you can adjust it up or down. and You know, you can set it down and angle it up or hang it on your TV and angle it down. That, that works nicely. Um, it like most of the things, so most of the things um, that, actually I think everything, everything that's come with the PS5s so far has that little hidden texture of the PlayStation symbols. So everything that I have has those little symbols on it, and um, I think they're, I think it's kind of a cute little detail. Um, now on to the other part of this video that I wanted to do, which was a use update for the um, accessories that I got and reviewed yesterday. So uh, as a use update, I've been using the headphones now for an entire day. Uh, I've done various little tests with it. It works fine on PlayStation. Uh, you just have to make sure that you go into the setting and settings and have it uh, take all of the audio instead of just the chat audio. And then it will, you know, whenever you turn on the headphones, it will turn off the audio on your TV and put it straight into your headphones. It's lovely. Uh, they don't work on the TV, uh, which kind of sucks, but I was able to get it working on the PS4, so it doesn't entirely matter. Um, it works great on the computer. Uh, using a 3.5 millimeter head jack, you can use them uh, not powered but you do not get the function of the microphone or the, um, well, mostly just the microphone. <laughs> um, 
but yes, they, they do work using the 3.5 millimeter head jack without power, um, and it, it's lovely. Uh, I also found that they don't really work plugged in using the um, charging cable. So the charging cable is purely for charging, um, not to use the headphones on the computer without power. Um, but I believe you can use them while plugged in and charging. Um, the range on them when using the little dongle thing is pretty good. Um, I was able to walk around my little area that I, I live in uh, decently far. Um, I would say you could probably get a good hundred feet away, maybe more, from uh, the source. So say you live in a decently small to mid-sized apartment. Uh, if your computer or TV is centrally located, you could easily go around and um, and listen to music. Though, of course, depending on how many walls it has to go through, it might be a little bit choppy. Uh, as for the dual sense, uh, I tried it on my computer to see if I could, you know, play play games with it like I do my uh, DualShock Four. Um, the dual sense kind of works, but not in any intended way. So I was I did one test with Legend of Heroes: Trails in the Sky on Steam, and the layout was a bit turned for some reason so where buttons that would normally be the X button were now square and so on and so forth going around the, uh, clockwise funnily enough um, and then when you actually get into the game uh, the camera is constantly rotating for some reason why I have no clue but it was um, as for on PS4 it doesn't really work on PS4 yet either, um, but I'm pretty sure that updates will be coming out soon, and hopefully, with any luck, uh, they'll release some sort of drivers for the HD camera as well. Um, that way you can use it on computer, because I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. It's literally just a USB camera. It has two lenses, sure but it's just a USB camera I don't entirely see what would make it not be able to work on a computer so hopefully that um, that comes out other than that I do intend to maybe do some more tests here and there but when the PS5 comes out and I do have a PS5 coming in it's coming like everyone else's um, uh, at least in North America, Canada, Japan, and I think Mexico, um, and Canada, uh, the 12th. So I, I pre-ordered it, and it's coming in the 12th. I will do a review and everything then. Sadly, I can't, I don't have much of the capacity to do unboxings on this channel because I don't have a good camera, and the camera I do have, uh, likes to die. Uh, <laughs> It likes to die on me a lot. Um, so I will be doing some stuff with PlayStation 5. I will test out the 3D audio and whatnot because I do, I'm getting Dark Souls. Not Dark Souls. I'm an idiot. Uh, Demon's Souls. I'm getting Demon's Souls and Spider-Man Miles Morales, which I believe both of those take advantage of the 3D audio. I'll do some 3D audio tests with the headphones then. You can't really do them now because there's not really anything out there that uh, that does 3D audio right now. That that's all built into the PS5. Um, yeah, so I think that is it. I will have more videos coming out uh, later. I, I don't know... I, I can't really do any more PlayStation videos at the moment because everything I have has come in. <laughs> um, but if there's any changes in uh, usability, I will update uh, then. Uh, but yes... So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for the thank you so much for the response to my last video. That is the biggest response.
that I can understandably see in a video. I've had some videos go past, you know, 100, 200 before, but I never understood why they were, because videos similar to them weren't doing anything. But my last video in one day has gotten over 500 views, and for me to actually be able to sit there and see it happen has been an amazing experience. So thank you guys so much for watching that video, and thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys in whatever video I end up making next. Goodbye.